What's going on? It's Justin here. First of all, I'm going to say I have two videos going up, either this video that you're watching right now or a time-lapse video of this build. Um, this video that you're watching right now will be a full non-stop um, build from beginning to end or just about end um, of a standard middle range basic PC, um, an everyday type of PC. Um, if you don't want to see that, it's just going to be a long, boring video of me talking while putting it together. Um, you just want to see like the, the get up and go. Um, go ahead and click the link that will be up as soon as it gets uploaded at the top here. Um, that will just show the, the full time lapse video. A full build will take like five, six minutes on that. Um, if not, if you want to listen to me ramble and talk like I am right now, then go ahead and stay tuned to this video. Have a basic everyday build of a Logis or Logisys whatever case, um, basic cheap case. I'm going to be installing an MSI FM2 um, standard motherboard with an AMD A4 Trinity 3.4 dual core processor that has a 3.6 uh, gigahertz boost. Um, Corsair 4 gigs of DDR3 1333 RAM and a Seagate 1 terabyte 7200 RPM drive as well as a standard DVD optic drive. So if you want to stay tuned, check that out. Go ahead and just sit right here and enjoy. Um, leave your comments and feedback as well. And if you just want to see the quick build, I will not be mad. I, trust me, it's kind of boring to listen to, but a buddy said to do this. So uh, click the link up above just to watch the speed build. Enjoy. All right. Going to go ahead and get right into this. Uh, this will be my full build nonstop, um, unedited. I'm going to go ahead and apologize now. I'm not very good on camera. You'll probably hear me repeat crap a lot. Um, so yeah, just getting that out there. Um, so I'm starting with the case, which did come with an included power supply, which I'm not going to use. Um, a lot of bad reviews on it. Um, kind of picked up the case without knowing about the power supply. So I'm going to get that out of there first, as well as take out the included fan, as it only has a Molex adapter. It doesn't have a normal three pin. So I'm going to get that out of there as well and replace it with a little bit of a better fan, a little bit of a bigger fan. Um, this is a budget build, like I said before, um, that is for a family member that just needs a decent computer, has a little bit of room to upgrade. Alright, get rid of this thing. Um, so it can up, be upgraded down the road. It's going to have 4 gigs of RAM in it right now. Um, but be able to expand up to, I think, 16 total. This one has two slots, so I can just throw another 4 gig in it pretty easily of single channel. Or just order up some dual channel later. But hopefully this machine will be good. It's a little bit better than what I was originally going to send, which was my now my Minecraft server, which uh, I had a video up a little bit before. All right. So here's the fan over there. So that's now cleaned out. It's a cheap little two wire, no power control, nothing. I'm uh, gonna get rid of that. And going to bring in, I might as well do it now, a nice 120. So I can get some a little bit better airflow in there or out of there. Hopefully this thing will fit. Alright, just making sure. Uh. Like I've said before, if anyone watches my videos before, um, I like building these on the floor. It seems to be a little bit easier um, than on a table or something like that. I don't know. It's just a preference. I've always done it like this. Some people like to have a desktop or a table, kind of like what's over on the other side here. Um, I don't know. All preference. doesn't seem to make any difference at all on a build. Some people I know are building like, on their bed, all kinds of crazy crap like that. So, and I apologize if this is really boring to you. Um, like I should have said in the beginning, um, I will have a time-lapse time video. Um, so if you're not interested in seeing this and hearing me talk, um, you can actually just check out the time-lapse and it'll just be a sped up version. Um, going on, which is actually why, if you're watching right now, you'll notice the quality is only 720. Um, I'm actually shooting this on a webcam, so hopefully it comes out alright. Um, but, uh, 
as I'm using my Avario for the speed labs. So right now, the way I usually have to do things, since the power supply is already out, uh, which usually gives in, I would do this first, but um, I'm going to do it. I like to get all the header clips out of the way, and just like to test fit up the motherboard. So I'm going to take out the MSI. It's a decent looking like the board. So yeah, um, I'll only check fit to see where the bolts are. I know there's easier ways to do this, um, but this is just the way that I've always done it. So I'll do it a couple of times to get it out. I'm um, actually going to knock this thing out of here. Um, not too happy with this case. It's a lot cheaper than I expected. Um, which I normally don't get super high in cases, but this thing is a a new level of cheap. I mean, it'll still be decent and fine for what it's doing, but I don't know. Like this crap, like how hard would it be for them to take this out from the beginning? It's not gonna fit any motherboard really right off the bat. Alright, so normally have all the screws to the side here, which of course will have your standoffs and stuff like that. Useless little speaker. Good thing about sitting on the floor, as long as you keep your floor clean, you can just dump everything out right there and you're not gonna be worried about anything. So it seems most of the standoff stuff is right where it normally would be. I'm just going to go ahead and screw these in here. Now if you uh, are watching this and you're getting bored, you can blame my buddy Blake. He told me, he's like, oh, everyone's going to have at least one of these full builds on their channel, blah, blah, blah. So. If you uh, don't like this and are angry, go yell at him, please. Blame it on him. All right, so I guess it would help to put it in the correct way. All right, so like that right there is lining up. So now I just look down. I've got one, two. Oh, I guess only three more. All right. So, I don't know. This is going to be pretty boring. I can even just tell. I'm not used to having to talk while doing this stuff. But, whatever. It's something up. And like I said, definitely check out the time lapse if you don't like this, or check it out anyways. I'm like, I don't know. Time lapse stuff is always fun to play around with. It's a lot easier because I don't have to talk. You sound like a fucking idiot while doing this, but teach their own. And I misjudge that one. Alright. Alright. So now that I got everything lined up, let's go in. Get it with your wrench. I use an adjustable wrench because um, it's just easier to keep around. You don't need a lot of tools for this. A nice, nice little wrench for doing something like this. Um, some people will use a little socket wrench so they can do like some other screws with it. Um, but a standard non-magnetized screwdriver. Um, sometimes a flathead non-magnetized screwdriver. And that's it. You really don't need anything else um, other than like a, your cleaning solution if you're applying a or cleaning a processor or something like that and rags. But uh, that's really all you're going to need. So if you got that all set up, mounts are ready to go. I'm actually going to skip ahead. Um, hopefully you can see this. I don't know how good that angle is over there. Right, sorry about that. My uh, webcam thing was not responding for a second there, so hopefully that didn't get too screwed up. Um, so yeah, anyways, back to where I was uh, building. I'm going to actually skip ahead over to the motherboard real quick, which hopefully you can see right there. Um, usually a little bit easier to get the CPU and heatsink installed outside of 
the case, which you can do it inside. Some people do it backwards. Not really a big difference. So this right here is the nice AMD A4. Get out of the plastic here. AMD usually has a really easy pin set, which I can't see right now because of the light. There we go. Which is just match up your arrow, drop it down in, clamp close, and there you go. And then yes, I am going to use the onboard. I want some to get or not onboard the uh, supplied heat sink and heat paste. Everyone gets so mad about it, but it really it's for a normal everyday computer. Not going to do anything really heavy duty on this. Um, it doesn't really matter which way it goes. I do want to try to get the cord so I can get decent routing without a bunch of spare. I actually think I'm going to go that way with it. Yeah, so for the heatsink, for AMD systems, it has this little pull tab. So you just go down with it, latch, and drop it down. Of course, when I'm doing it on camera, Fuck it up. There we go. So you get it on your little pull tab. And it's a simple twist and snap. And there you go. And then going this way, I realize oh, there's no good way to do this, but for now I'm just going to tuck that and plug it in out of the way. All right, so the CPU is installed, the cooler is installed. Some type of noise out in the other room. Hopefully I'm not gonna get murdered up. Although uh, that would be really good YouTube stuff. So uh, hopefully whoever murders me up if somebody's uh, busting into my house, you know, upload this shit, get some views. All right, so um, some people put the RAM on well, it's still in, uh, outside of the thing. I usually don't. It's not a big deal for me to put on in there. I just like doing the CPU so you have access to the um, clips and things like that. So I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm going to do the power, for, power supply first if I can learn to talk. So I'm going to slide this back out of the way. Get the power supply in. Now this uh, is a Roswell 350. Decent little power supply. I've had it for a little bit, but I trust this thing more than the, the Logisys uh, supply that came with. Actually, the uh, I've already looked at it a little bit before filming, and uh, just from the shipping of the case to me, um, the damn thing had been tweaked all to hell and ripped two of the, uh, the mounting holes out. Um, and this thing's going to get mailed across country back to my family member. So, uh, was not about to take that chance. Uh, let's see. Like right now, this thing isn't wanting to line up either. Um, like I said before, not too happy with this case. But it will get the job done. Once everything's in there, the, the case just holds the crap. And again, airflow is not going to be too big of a deal. And I did just put in a pretty big fan compared to what it normally would come with. So. Power supplies have became one of the easiest things to, to change out. Just get your normal four screws, your normal wire set. A good thing about changing this out as well is the uh, the power supply it came with only had two, I think, SATA ports, and they're connected to one cord. So I would have had to like get the uh, hard drive really close to the. Um, CD drive to be able to power both of them. So now I won't have to worry about it as much. So now that the case looks like a rat nest, get that out of the way. Make sure nothing's in here. Check everything's clear. All right. Gonna go ahead and grab the back plate. These things are always annoying when you're working with used ones. All right, and I'm just going to pop that in. Just pop it in. There we go. Nope. 
Okay, I guess that's in. Again, not really great fitment. I right, drop the board in. <clears throat> Sorry for blocking the camera. Trying to make sure everything's lining up. Yep. All right. All right. So everything's lined up. And just go ahead and grab your screws and your screwdriver and bolt everything down. Okay, that's still not lining up. Sometimes these uh, back tabs like to. Yep. So that's right now the little back panel has these little fins that are meant to, I guess, hold it more securely, but usually, nine times out of 10, they like to bend down and go into like the USB drive or WAN port or something like that, causing a bit of an issue, because you can short things out. So like now, that one's above, that one's above, okay. <coughs> there we go. So I always go to double check those things because once you uh I'm still not lining up. What the crap? There we go. Yeah, it's always good to double check those things. Um one one little piece of metal in the wrong place and first time you boot it up you can have a nice little spark show or burn up, you know, piece of equipment. It's not like this is the most expensive motherboard out there, but you know, why why replace it if you don't have to? You're gonna get a brand new piece. Ooh, you know stuff like that isn't good. So I'm actually building this right now like it's like five in the morning, six in the morning. You never really can sleep much. And I keep getting other things that take place of this. I've actually been promising this computer to a family member for quite a while. And I feel like a piece of shit for not getting out to them, getting it out to them. So I'm trying to get this done and mail to them. Pretty much, if you're watching this this type of thing, you probably already know a little bit about computers. Um, if not, um, and you're looking to learn, definitely go out and. Um, check. Is that the wrong screen? Look into getting cheap little, you know, used parts, and um, you can usually find. I think I said it before. The the old Pentium Four systems are really really cheap. Um, you can find them pretty much like given away. Okay. Um, People pretty much will give them to you or throw them throw them away or something like that. Those are really fun to just play with, you know, learn, learn your basics, take them apart, you know, set them back together. Um, if you want to play with something, that's your best bet. I'm starting out. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to buy this stuff new and you know go at it that way. Um, a lot of people that are new to it and they think you know, oh, building computers, that's the hard stuff. It's really not. As long as you look up a little bit and know, you know, the differences between like DDR2, DDR3, the compatibilities of speeds, compatibilities of the CPUs and motherboards, it's all like a big Lego set. It just pieces together. Um, especially, especially nowadays, you know, websites you do your order from like Newegg and such, they make it so easy. Um, they'll pretty much tell you what you need. Uh, if, even if you're new to it, and we'll set you up and be ready to go. All right, so the motherboard's in there. Ah, turn this a little bit. So from there, depending on how I'm feeling, I'll sometimes jump to the CD drive or the main drive, which I think I'll just do the main drive now. 
And this is another thing. These things became so cheap a few years ago. They're talking about getting a terabyte. I think I picked this up. It's a Seagate um, Barracuda 7200. Uh, picked this up for $70, I think. Um, which a few years ago, that would be unheard of. But thankfully, hard drives dropped in price and made it easier to, to get. So I'm going to tuck that in there. Not too sure about this case. It looks like a bent right there. All right. Um, but yeah, this, it's crazy the technology has came along so far, how much you can get. So, uh, solid states have pretty much taken over. And uh, even that has dropped dramatically in the past couple of years. Um, I remember when they first came out, the friggin' like 20 gig solid state would run you more than a 500 gig standard. And they were, they were really crappy, they'd fail a lot and have a lot of failure rates and failure problems. So, tech has come a long ways, everything's starting to go to good old mobile now. So stuff like this is became relatively cheap. <clears throat> Flip this around and see if I oops. Should have taken this panel off to begin with, but I didn't think about it. <clears throat> a lot of these computers nowadays or cases nowadays have this removable back panel. This one seems kind of pointless because you can't really tuck or hide your wires anywhere. And you have this little opening here. Um, but really, you're not going to get crap in there. But I'm going to secure down this hard drive. I might have to go snag some screws because it doesn't even look like they gave me enough for everything. Good old cheap case. Um, so, yeah. If anyone's bored, write in the comments the first machine you ever built. Something like that. Get a little conversation going. Try to keep talking as much as possible on there, you know. Still kind of new to, not new to YouTube, but new to posting standard stuff like every week. I've been trying to do it like once a week, something like that. Um, try not to get too much into my life, just, you know, post your normal stuff. Something of at least a little bit of interest. But uh, yeah, definitely post it up, you know, talk about your first build get a conversation going. My first one was actually a Pentium 4, but back when they were a little bit more common um, as an everyday computer, and uh, upgraded it to, what is it, a gigabyte, a gig of RAM, and I uh, forgot what else I did to it now. That's actually the one that used to be the Minecraft server. They've been upgraded multiple times. And why won't this release? <clears throat> So yeah, this cheap case, I probably should have looked up how to remove this front panel, because I can't seem to get that off of there. Hmm. There we go. So. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the DVD drive in. Just a standard DVD RW. Um, I was considering putting a Blu ray drive in there. That's something I can probably send out to people and have them install themselves. Drives are so, so easy to swap. Um, nothing really too hard about it. And it looks like I am going to have to grab some more screws here. So, let's see. Be sure to always. Get your screws loose here, get it lined up, get them nice and flush with the uh, with the front of the computer. And these cheap cases, they sometimes have a little bit of play side to side as well. And you can kind of bend it to to match. So let's see here. Oh, that's weird. I only got three for that, so I have to grab another screw. Most computers or decent cases will have a little slide lock on the other side, so you only have to bolt down one side. That would be still fine on this one to do, but I gotta mail this across country and I really don't want to take a chance of 
anything coming loose because it costs quite a bit to ship these uh, these desktops. And I know I should probably have just went with a laptop for them, something like that. But you know, it's hard to break a uh, tradition. I'm a big desktop person. I'm not a fan of laptops. I figure if I'm on the go and I need to do something, I have a smartphone. And it pretty much fills my need for a laptop. And let's see. Actually, I might be able to just do these three. Let's see, like right now, that's. There we go. Eh, I should have. Wait, here we go. Another right, computer build. Just... Our screws are still sitting here, so I'm just snag one from that. So if you're still watching this, I apologize because I'm probably rambling. But I really don't know what the hell to say. And I hope Blake dies in the fire for recommending me doing this because I'm probably boring what little fan base I have to death. Alright. So. DVD drive in, uh, hard drive in. Next is getting rid of this rat's nest, which I dump back in here. And writing the power. This is a, an adapter for another CD thing, which I don't think I'm going to need, actually. Maybe I will. Oh, this one actually only has two as well. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I will need that CD adapter. Uh, Whatever, no big. So, and this case was had absolutely no instructions. Like I don't know what this Molox adapter goes to. So green and white. There should be no lighting on the front. Power reset. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the deal of that is. So I might leave that on for a little bit and try to. I'll play with that one. But you have your normal USB hub, your audio, and then your power switch, power light, all that stuff. And actually, let's see if I can wrap this a little bit. These type of builds usually don't get like any type of wire management, but anything that will keep it from looking bad or Pour jungle around in there, a little bit of air flow, something like that. Will be good. Kind of scared to cut them through here just because these cuts are from their metal are sharp. So I'm just cutting all these wires down and through. There's a little passage here. You'll see a lot of times these uh, sometimes won't be long enough um, to reach what you're doing. Actually, my uh, my i7 build um, had really short built-in headers. They still reach, uh, but they didn't look nice. You couldn't really route them anywhere, especially my sound cord. I had to go on the complete opposite side of the motherboard, um, and it just looked awful. So, but it's pretty much hidden. It's along the bottom. There was no airflow really needed. Um, so, I don't know. I've left it so far. I might go back and clean that up and solder on some longer cords and route it and hide them. But I'm, I'm not a big wire tuck type of guy. I like to keep it looking kind of clear. But, all right. So this is going to get even more boring. So I'm going to probably start down here with the, the boring crap. I'm going to go with this USB, which USB one. Huh, okay. So, USB, very easy to do. There will be a missing pin on, on the bottom, and you have a plug, or what looks like a plug hole in most of the headers. So that's a very simple thing to do. I actually wish the power switch on my thing go that way. And then your audio, which will usually be further away. Same thing, you'll have a little block pin and then a missing pin. So you just need to spin it to match. And then that 
that's on. And then the fun part, and I apologize ahead of time, my face and head will be down in here because this is really small. And it's a pain in the ass. So, and I actually wear, huh, that's a USB 3.0. I don't know, I actually did not know this motherboard had 3.0. Um, where is the uh, header for this? Hmm. I probably should have looked at that ahead of time. And there's a mosquito in here. Great. There's the system fan. Hmm. Okay. Number one, number two. Well, I look like a complete idiot right now because I did not look this up. And I am too blind to see where the pins are. Great. Hold on just a sec. Oh, great. That fucking mosquito. All right. I know I said I wasn't going to cut it, but I'm going to cut it for your own sake. And look this up real fast. Okay. Well, <sighs> I feel like a big dummy. I guess it's because I'm a little bit more tired than I thought. Um, it's just not clearly labeled, but the pin set is right here next to the USB thing. Um, uh, I guess I'm a little bit tired than I thought. So, yeah, these things are a pain in the ass. Usually really hard to see. And this one makes it worse. They're usually labeled on the motherboard. Um, this is got glue on it, too. Uh, usually labeled on the motherboard. This one is not. So, I had to find a little booklet. It's got its little layout. And let's see here. Power switch will be one, one, two. All right, Get power switch, power LED positive and negative. We'll be right next to that. Negative and then positive. Okay, and then should be the reset switch. Hmm. There we go, reset switch. And this one is tucked in. Should be the hard drive LED. Positive and negative, positive out. And there we go. And then I can tuck all these in. And I really don't know what the fuck this goes to. Now if this part of the power switch? Huh. It's got the same color coding as the power switch, but Again, no information came with it, so I'm gonna set that to the side for now. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the RAM next, which is a four gig Corsair stick. Oh my god, this fucking hmm. I don't know why, but my webcam keeps saying it's not capturing audio. So I hope this isn't just a silent one. If so, then I just wasted a bunch of time talking to myself. It's all good. Alright, so yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the RAM next. 4 gigs of Corsair. Single stick. A nice little heat, heat spreader on it. Not really needed anymore, but... So, single stick. It's pretty simple stuff. Anyone that's done anything computer knows, as long as you've got the right stuff. Slide it in. 
press and secure. And there you go. So four gigs in there. And now the really fun part is more cable routing. So already everything untangled. Gonna be a lot of stuff you might need. Gonna have your main board power. Like to kind of make sure that I'm not bending the motherboard too much for that. Yeah, uh, where's the CPU power? There it is. And then four pin for motherboard power. There we go. All right. And last but not least, we have the. Oh my god, this thing is terrible. Right. Let me go ahead and go down to the hard drive. And the same problem as the other one, if I wanted to use this thing without the adapter, I'd have to uh, get those right next to each other, so I'd probably have to put the hard drive up top and the drive down bottom. Um, not a real fan of that. So I'm just going to use one of these nice little set of adapters. These is free. Actually, do this. There we go. And run that right here to the DVD drive. All right, now I've got all this wire to fucking get rid of. I want to wait a second on that. Actually, now I guess I'll do it now. Let's start putting it off. Alright, so I'm just going to coil this stuff up. I might go back and I get really uh, weird about covering ends. I don't think I have a lot of these caps. Um, might go back in and just tape over them. I know it's not needed, but I get really weird about it. I'm going to go back and uh, I tuck those in there and wire tie everything. I don't want to bore you guys with that part. All right, so power supplies in. Power's all hooked up. Everything has power now. Last but not least, set the cables. All right, and these are usually marked very well on the motherboard. Just simple cable, very small. Do not miss uh, IDE whatsoever. My crap was annoying. So now I'm plug this into say one for the hard drive and say to two for the DVD. And I'm going to move this stuff away. There you go. All right. And pretty much, oh yeah, and I almost forgot a CPU case fan. Line that up. Again, I'm going to go back and wire tuck all this stuff with zip ties. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Oh, not counting the wire tuck. And not counting software, that is a fully built, budget build machine. Roughly cost if you're buying everything new, um, probably about $252.75. Um, you can get bundle deals, just be real careful. Like I said, I did not like the power supply that came with this case. You could use it easily, the only reason I'm changing it um, is that uh, 
this case getting, it's getting shipped across country and I, you know, can't work on it if something goes wrong. So I want it to be, you know, it's a little bit safer and reliable. And I know this power supply is good. I've had it in a few machines and it's got a lot of life left in it. So yeah, that's going to be about it. Um, actually, I guess I could power it up real quick. Might as well. Just to show that it boots. Make sure my uh, everything's good, or maybe you guys get a nice spark out, and I can just look like a complete idiot, and like I was talking out my ass that whole uh, whole time. I apologize to someone who mentioned something. I do a lot of cussing um, on video, and uh, I do cuss, and I seem to cuss more because I guess I'm nervous or something like that. Um, I'm not a big fan of talking in front of a camera, so I freak out a little bit. So, uh, but yeah, let's see, let's go ahead and give it a video signal. And I'll probably continue to work on it after the video is done. If we can put this on there, right? And there's my keyboard. Alright, so, moment of truth power buttons on front. I'll wait every time. All right. And there we go. CPU memory has changed from the other side of the configure system. All right. So you can't see it, but I got a screen right there um, down in the corner. And it's all going in saying it's uh, good to go. Make sure it goes into the BIOS. Yep. And wow. This actually has a nice full mouse controlled BIOS system. Um, let's see if this will work. So, yeah. Full in BIOS. Up and going. It's probably on full blast fan right now because it's. Uh, not set up. I'm gonna put on a smart fan and like that. So yeah, just a little bit of wire tucking, and this thing's ready to go. Um, so that's gonna be my my full build. Um, don't mock my my systems or techniques or how sloppy it is because it's not 100%. I'm gonna stop at about 90 because I don't want to bore you guys. And uh, yeah, if I didn't say something, it's because I'm fucking nervous as hell um, on camera. But Hopefully some of you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed seeing walk through or just listen to me babble while putting together a machine. And uh, until next time, see ya. Just a real quick ending. Computer's programmed, still no drivers or anything, so it's just stock install. And I did do a little bit of a wire tuck. Still not the cleanest, um, but it is tucked away. I need to go into the sp uh, speed fan settings and set everything so the fans will quiet down. But yeah, all right, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, like, share, do whatever. Later.